guys as hungover as me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. Alright, sorry. Too bad, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Can I have this one? Yes. Yes. He flags all the time. He's a jerk. But are there no more rock? Wait, who have a moderator or is it just us? We got two. Uh, first of all, hi everybody. Thanks for coming. I uh, had no idea so it was going to turn out. Uh, those of you who came last year, uh, we had a, a different cast member, which was Arlen and uh, Amarik at the time, and Travis was supposed to be here, mm -hmm. and we actually called him on the, uh, the iPhone, on the product placement, and he was the one uh, who couldn't make it, and we actually talked on the iPhone. For those who want to put a face to the voice, this is the jackass. <laughs> I love it. It's so weird because Travis plays like all, all your roles in TV and film have been like the biggest douches in the world. <laughs> and it's like the nicest guy in, in, in person. <laughs> yes, I continually play that as well. Um, I, I guess it's just like somewhere in me. I have it. We discuss the art of douchery. <laughs> you go to school for that. That's actually true. <laughs> So we do we, we, uh, okay, the way that we uh, wait for running, we got a mic on that side, we got a mic on this side. Anybody have a question? Raise your hands. What you got? Which what you want to say? For real. Who's got it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's a question for Travis. Um, when you were talking about um, like stupendous and all that, Thing, like during the sex scene in Friday the 13th, was that like ad-libbed or like, what was that? Was that scripted or did you add something to it? Can you just tell us about that scene? Sensitive subject. Uh, I had to go to a lot of depths for that scene. I, I did a lot of breathing and relaxation beforehand just so I did it. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Uh, Oh yeah, get uh, For that, like yes, there was a lot of ad libs and stuff. Stupendous was a line written, and I, for some, at first I was like, I don't want to say this line, it's stupid. Like, stupendous, who says stupendous? And like, just stick with it. So I said it, but a lot of the other stuff was just, I don't know, it's just when you're in a scene like that, and you have 30 people around you, and you're naked wearing a sock on your machine your thing. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought of that print thing before. Um, it, just, it just comes out. I mean, I just kind of riffed it and had fun. And, Tossed around the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fun fact also, a lot of people think that the sex scene just so glamorous. And, oh my god, they're so hot and steamy. Unglamorous. 12 hours we took to do that sex scene. And, and it's just, it's literally, Juliana was great, but it's just, you guys just there, just like doing this for 12 hours. Hold on, put on the rope, wait 30 minutes, come back, same thing. It's, it's, it's definitely not a glamorous thing. All my friends are like, that must have been so cool. I remember coming in, I was like, wait. <laughs> I remember I was waiting outside the window the whole time while it's happening. I'm trying not to laugh because you know your two friends are faking, making love. And uh, I, I came in at a time. Hey man, how's it going? What's going on, Travis? And Travis, I, you, you think you're like, oh, it's crazy, it's awesome. He looks like he's just been beat like, in the face, and he looks over and he's like, I am so raw right now. It hurts so bad. I got chafed in, in this this region. <laughs> so chafed. But it was it was fun. It was awesome. I got a lot of shit from my girlfriend for doing that, and my grandparents actually came and, and watched it with me, and that was awkward. Oh, It was kind of, it was kind of great. And also, guys, I don't know if you guys know, this is uh, Travis's first show ever, and, uh... He's one of the most, so he knows the video cameras. If you say something uh, embarrassing and or stupid or editable, and edit a bowl, and that sort of says that it will be on uh, YouTube. Should we start over? <laughs> yeah. We should start over. Everyone can leave. Everyone can leave. We'll start again. Yeah, you should go in before we start. Okay. All right, we're moderating ourselves now. What's going on? <clears throat> Next. You know it's a Q&A, folks. Eric.
Um, now, got it, meaning sex as or death? As Um, believe it or not, my mom likes watching me die. Yeah. Oh. And my dad, his dream is to play a dead person in a movie. So, um, they, I think they, they all enjoy uh, watching me play the asshole, but I've done it so many times now that they're like, okay, we've seen it, move on, transition somewhere else. So, <laughs> um, they, they get a kick out of it. If they end up not liking me, I know I did a good job, because they don't quite. They're so welcome. Derek, you're here. I hear you. Oh, no, I'll stand. Okay, I'm sorry. Were you a fan of Jason? I was. When I'm a nerd for Jason. When Jason was like my favorite horror icon before I got hired. So it was kind of hard keeping it together when I got the call to be the character. I was trying to be professional. Oh, what we're shooting when? Oh, it sounds fantastic. It's not like, like breaking things in my house and I like a 12 year old girl. Let me think about that coming up right it's true. Give me a word. I have another one for Derek. Uh, could you just describe like the audition process that made you go through like the different motions of using Jason? The, wait, the audition process, what it was like for for Jason? Yeah, like uh, know, we, had, we had we had a uh, contrasting monologue, a comedy, and a, a, a drama, and I'm totally lying. <laughs> yeah, it is. He's what? totally lying. <laughs> No, uh, I actually got hired because uh, only two of us were brought in to audition for the character. Um, it was a lot of word of mouth. Uh, Brad and Drew from Platinum Dooms asked a lot of different industry professionals, like Scott Stoddard, who ended up doing the makeup, uh, Greg Nicotero from k &B, a couple other people also, like who they thought, you know, knew who would be a good new Jason. And um, I'm very fortunate they, they put my name in. They, they all, my name kept popping up, which was very nice. Um, but for the auditioning process, I went in and I basically, uh, the producers and the director were on location scale in Austin at the time, so I was with the casting director. You know, I was just talking to a, a video camera, and they were asking me questions about the character, you know, what I knew about the character, and uh, they were talking about. They said this time around we need someone, uh, and no disrespect before or whatever, not my intention, but we don't always want a guy with a mask. They say we need a professional actor. They go, why do you think that's? Why do we need that? And I go, well, of course you would because they did. To me, it doesn't matter what's in front of your face or not. If you do the character research and you do, if you commit to the moment, whatever's happening 100%, that energy is going to be able to transfer through the mask or whatever you're wearing and be captured on film. If you walk in like, oh, I just have a mask on, I'm a big guy and I'm a killer, that's what you're going to get. It's going to be very one-sided. So I, uh, I guess that they liked that and then they gave me a call and I got hired. He had to cry in the audition. <laughs> cry, yes. And they liked that. It was good. Can we get shoes? So I know uh, Ken Hunter was pretty for a second. Ken, oh, there a Jason. What if Ken Hunter like approached you about it? Who would win that fight? <laughs> if we give Ken and I fight? Yeah. Who would win? <laughs> so long. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't, Kane and I have become really, like, we're, we're friends, so I can't really say. Um, I, I won't say it. So, uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be a good pay per view. <laughs> I did that skill though. I tried to be some MMA. I will tie clinch. I will guillotine. I know it. Tap out, motherfucker. I don't know. No, no, no. That was like the worst answer ever. Just rambled on. Like, <laughs> now, Kane is great. Kane, it's so funny because I know when I asked, like, with, with Kane, because I know he had a problem with uh, cursing her uh, before uh, with the uh, Freddy vs. Jason. And I was like, hey, does Kane hate you? Does he want to destroy you? We get along so well, we tease each other all the time, and he's really a good guy. Sorry, that was, that was kind of boring. I mean, I'll punch his face in. <laughs> oh. This one's for Travis? Yeah! yeah. yeah I mean, you want to hit him for the last couple minutes. Keep the tally. Four up here. Two and two. All right. What was like the procedure of being shoved through the back of the truck? The procedure, actually, um, they wanted a sub guy to do, to do the little trick first, and I said, wait, oh, I, I want to do it. The guy had terrible fake hair.